worry, I'm fine. And that's a good way to humanize those Shinra employees. He's got a kid. Detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She worry. I think of the amount of people that just heard that. It's like, um, guys. Like, where did he go? Like, I turned around, he's gone, but I still heard him. I don't know. I, d I do want to mention about the um, voice acting though, because they have replaced the voice actors from previous Final Fantasy VII stuff that had voice work. Now, I'm not a fan of that kind of thing happening, as I've mentioned previously in so many places. I'm just not a fan of that at all, but it's that case of... There may be a reason for it, and if they do do that, I'm on board with it. If they don't, I don't like it. Simple as that. Like, it's, I'll get into it later, but it'll be much later but I wanted to mention it now at least like early game that's like it's it's a topic I want to talk about because I don't like when they replace voice actors for seemingly no good reason some I could understand like because no offense but there's no way of saying it the performances were not good but some were good some were very good Sephiroth for instance some were very 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 good and they should have been brought back but there may be a reason for it but again that's something I want to talk about later. And I don't want to say why later, because they were heading into spoilers for this game, and I said I wouldn't spoil this game. Previous ones, yeah, but... The music there. Look at that. It's nice, nice art in the background as well, like, because that's an in that's a skybox over there. Like, way over there, like, mass that's a massive skybox, that is just a picture. You can sort of tell here, though, because it's like you can see the curve isn't right on that picture, but from just a simple background thing, it's doing its job. Like, because that isn't way off in the distance or anything like that. It's like, nah, it's, it's probably just, you know, say 300 meters away, it's just a flat surface over there. Well, it's, it's more a curved surface, it would be, because it's wrapping around. So it's like a sphere that we're in. It's just the skybox. It's just... It's a very impressive skybox. Very impressive. It's Loveless again. Like they won't, no, won't make you forget Loveless, because I still feel that's like part of the theories and stuff. I feel like... The final act is taking place. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco-warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel work. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> 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 What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. It's that. It's worth mentioning, like, my thoughts when I was originally going through this game. Because obviously it's like, that isn't over on my YouTube channel anymore or anything like that. It's, 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 it's just that case of... I, I want to mention the thoughts I had going through it the first time. It's very much here. I was like... Huh. Strange. That's when, like, theories for this game started to bubble. I was like, that was 
Odd. Hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? <laughs> You're such a kidder. And remember, we know where it got its name. Seventh Heaven. What the? That's where I work. What do you know? That ain't it. <gasps> Marlene. <laughs> She's adorable. <laughs> Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I am. Back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Now this is something I want to, like, so I was just addressing the voice acting earlier. Something I really, really want to point out here. The voice acting for Marlene is absolutely amazing and it is a kid she's doing fantastic like I, I really want to point that out she's doing an absolutely amazing job because it's like she's acting you can hear that she's acting and she's being Marlene and she's a kid it's like yeah usually when you get kid actors rubbish no way put it usually rubbish no way around it unfortunately because they haven't learned enough yet it's like but she's not just doing good She's doing amazing. I'd say out of like all the voice actors in this entire game, she is the best. Like absolutely, I will, hands down, she is the best voice actor in this game. I'll say that, and you gotta remember, Sarah's in this game. I'm saying Marlene's voice acting is better than Sarah's voice acting in this game. Because it's so good absolutely so good it's like i'll i'll, I'll never i this thing with sarah's voice acting i'll never be sort of like oh she's amazing she's the best and all this type of stuff it's like no i'll say things as they are because how can sarah improve if i say she's amazing and everything it's like i'll always say if she's bad or something like that sarah's good in this with the, with the little role she's got here and there she's good not her best work not her best work but she's good she's good she's doing her job that kind of thing but marlene let me let me get Marlene's. Well, who's who's her name? Marlene voice actor. Cause I want I want to shout her out here, cause she's doing fantastic. Marlene voice actor, FF7. Is it Brielle? I think that's how you pronounce that. Brielle Miller. It's like I let's see if she's done anything else, cause it's sort of like she is doing amazing. Apparently, she's done something in a TV show called Amphibia. She played FD. But yeah, it's. My god, she's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Could could not sing praises more, really. She just sells me on Marlene. She just sells me on Marlene. It's like, fantastic. And good on Square. Good on Square for getting an actual child voice actor. To do the child. Because it really helps. It really does. It's like, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Uh. Hey! Uh, the hell Barrett. you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. Huh? That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? 
They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. She's got just that childlike innocence correct. Like, she doesn't know what she's asking really there. In, in the same way, like, the weight of it. It's like, she's asking, like, did the people who die go to the afterlife and stuff like that? It's just like, a matter of fact for her rather than the weight of that. And is it, again, our credit square, just that fact, like, they got a child voice actor to do a child. It's like, perfect. And, yep, they did do that in Japan as well. I assume they did that in other territories as well. I, I can't find any info on that, though. So I know in, in Japan and the English dub, it's like they did get child voice actors. I'm assuming they did that everywhere. I don't know, though. But, like, someone will have to check on that for me and find out. Like, do your investigation. Some people like doing that, so. Let that be a lesson to you. Oh, fair enough. Alright, let's go see about picking up a piece of music over here. Use the jukebox to play your favourite tunes. You can add more songs to the jukebox by collecting music discs, which can be found in the field, where their presence is marked with a music icon. Tifa's theme. That will leave it be, because it's playing anyway. Not exactly anything to change there. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was... Chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Not good at all. I don't know what it is, but my So you make nice with everyone? As much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. See, this is what I mean by, like, the voices overlap. And, like, walking through there, it's like... It's hard to pay attention to what she's saying, because... Just... From both sides, your ears are being... Assaulted by other voices, is the best way of putting it. Can you hear a rat? I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. I'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells him to. So, it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. In the PS4 version, like, this door, its texture was just blurry. I don't know if they've fixed that at this point. It's just a blurry texture for the doors, but PS5 version? Biggest upgrade. Door has a proper texture. It's not low res. It's like, wow. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry. I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. You gotta give him some info there, but alright. It's a little bare. 
that should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No. Two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so... That'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. I love the fact we can see the materia in the equipment all over the place. Time for introductions. That better be him groaning and not just his stomach. Because I've had a stomach that bad once. Oof. It was not pleasant. It was not pleasant. Well, uh, we'll even be, because I think. I mean, there's a ladder, so I think there's a chest around here. It's one of those things like, if, if you've played the original game, you can almost feel the kind of stuff that's going to happen. Just in response to the music. It just, it brings back the thoughts and feelings like, oh, I get what context is going to be going on here with this scene. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. Remembering those damn mini games, the wind ones. Ugh. What are you doing to Marco? This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Yeah, it's like it's playing with your expectations. Playing with your knowledge of the original games. It's interesting. Something I noticed as well, there's like there's a lot of subsurface going on with the characters as well, because it's like see if I can get a bit closer here. Not not his face, his arms. It's like you can sort of see in in the texture, it's probably more the texture than the actual model. There's like veins and stuff. You can see just like the odd vein here and there. I think there is actually a few on his face as well. It's like because that that is something that is true. About us, just as humans, it's like, you can see our veins slightly. So to make things look more real, it's like, yeah, you have these little imperfections. Like, he's got the odd freckle here and there on his arm. His muscles are very weird, though. Although, considering the original model from the original game, that's fine. <laughs>
So like, it's a theme tune from a song, and he can't remember all the details of the theme tune, just the general idea. It's like, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of very real, isn't it? Look at the kitty! Kitty, meow. Looks like a real hard ass, but he's actually pretty chill. Eggs and chips. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <sighs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. <sighs> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. What, from Amazon Prime? Huh. Wait, how did you... Did you, like, vault over and, like, jump there? Like, what the... How did that happen? If I remember correctly, I want to look around. I think... They put an Easter egg somewhere. I'm trying to remember where it is, though. I think it might be... Yeah, that picture up there. If you if you look closely, that that picture like pretty much center right now. That's the um, background for the original Seventh Heaven from the original game, right there as a picture on the wall. It's like that is a nice Easter egg. And there's the like seven. What 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 sector are we in? <laughs> like I've forgotten now. Sector seven. Uh, slums right there as one in that picture just to the left of it. It's like that's a nice little thing to put there It's a nice thing to put there. I Don't think I've ever had eggs and chips though I don't like I, for me. I don't feel like they'd go well together. I'm obviously very much a fish and chips fan Can we play this? Oh, seems to be broken bomb Seems to be broken. Was it? gold time pinball Wild West. Huh. I'd say why do they have a Wild West, but it's sort of like, it kind of makes sense. Pizza! Kind of makes sense. Just for that aspect of like, this is sort of meant to be based on our world, just coming up to the 2000s. Which is why it's got this sort of like, environmental message about it. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference out. So Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all together. Again, the too many voices going on. It's like, what? Huh? Huh? Where's the music coming from? All the items you can want, straight from the plate. No matter your needs or your. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to. Wait. Who is he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? I love this little bit of music here. Hmm, items. Prelude! There we go. It's like, that was the first piece of Final Fantasy music I ever heard. Because it's the first piece of music when you're coming into Final Fantasy VII. It's like... And even on this one, it's like you've got a rendition of it as well. When you come to the start screen, you've got Prelude there. It's like, oh. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get a few antidotes. But Cure's point... I haven't got regen at the moment, have I? I can't... I don't think I've upgraded my Cure Materia enough to have regen. Because if I have that... Then I don't need to cure, like, like I don't need antidotes or anything like that because regen overrides poison, if I remember correctly. Think, think. Um. Yeah, so we need to get it up to rank three. So we need to get cure, cure, regen, and regen again. I, I believe, believe upgrades, upgrades what overrides. 
poison. Like 95% are sure on that. Like, I, I'll need to check. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teef is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. Uh, this prelude sort of reminds me a bit of, I think it's Final Fantasy X-2. That had a rendition of prelude that was sort of like this. And I like that, I like that. Can I come behind that? Barrel. Wouldn't be an Atli game without a barrel. What? All the items you can want, the He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady is a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Do. Do, do, do. Kitty. I saw the kitty and wanted to go have a look at it. Quality Ooh. product makes a huge difference. Kitties. Like so many kitties. Hello, kitties. Aw. Meow. So many kitties. Oh. What are we having that? Thank you, kitties. You led me to this chest. Two bottles of adrenaline. I'm wondering, does this have game? This this have game? Does this game have subsurface scattering now? I mean, it seems to have it in the hair. You can see, like, Cloud's hair's got a bit of stuff going on, but I'm just wondering about his ears. Like, the subsurface scattering, sort of like the light bounces around underneath, like, the texture. So it gives the illusion of light, light coming through the skin. Because if you have light behind you, in real life, your ears go slightly red, for instance. Like, you can see if you put your hand, like, or a finger over a light or something like that. Say you turned on a torch on your phone and you put your finger over the torch aspect. You'd see, like, the light coming through your finger, but it'll be as if your finger is lit up a bit like E.T. So you can sort of see it with the light. Like, when he's moving his head, you can see it happening with his hair. But I don't know if it's happening with the ears. So I don't know if it's happening with the skin texture. I want to keep an eye out for that, though. Can I go up there? No. But anyway, thank you, kitties. Meow. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what it is. The prenude sounds exactly like the one from Fire Fantasy X. Yeah, when you're in Xanacand. Is it that exact version though? Because like, thinking about that now, it's like it does sound exactly like that. It really does sound exactly like the one in Xanakand. That could be another reference to Final Fantasy X in this game. Because there's actually two references that I know of. That may be a third that we've maybe not paid attention to? I don't know. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for you. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit. Big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest will cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. What does that mean? Jeez. Taking a break at a rest spot recovers all your HP and MP. Rest spots include your own bed. Benches next to vending machines and other locations. One thing I want to point out with the vending machine benches when we get there is a little icon that's on the benches. It's lovely. It's a nice touch, but we'll do that when we get there. Gotta find one, basically. Morrow's great. 
She helped get me set up back in the day. You been here a while now? Five years, give or take. But never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapon store. What about the guy over there? This clearly looks different to everyone else. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? Huh? Hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! Alright. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barrett be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. But this bit's just reminding me of the axe throwing I did with, with Sarah when I was over in um, LA last. Yeah, that was a bit of fun. That was a bit of fun. But especially with my shoulders and my arms, like, ooh. It's good exercise. Huh? I ain't got nothing for a punk ass bitch like you. Get on out of here. All right, all right, mate. Chill. Way to keep you and your family safe, and with a weapon of your own, come and check out our selection. And again, you got to think that idea. Like you can see the wall over there that's separating the sectors, and it's sweeping around there. It's like everything beyond that is just a picture. It's just a picture on a sphere surrounding us. It's like, yeah. I think the only thing that isn't is the tower itself. So it's sort of like the tower will move in relation to the skybox. But everything else like beyond there, it's like, yeah, that's that's just not real. It's just a picture. Just a picture. It saves a lot of memory. It works very, very well. It works very well. Old school technique, but still works wonders. Well, Tifa? Hello? Oh, fine, I'll head in then. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the neighborhood watch? That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. For example... Aha! What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. He's very protective of the sword. For obvious reasons. But I do want to mention the sword itself. There's something very odd going on, and I don't know whether it's just an oversight or maybe something that's going to be part of the story in the overall thing. This sword that Cloud's got does not match the one you get in Crisis Core. It matches the one that's in the um, remaster. Was it called Reunion? Like Crisis Core Reunion? I think that's what it is. 
it matches it in that, and it doesn't match the one you see, I think, in Advent Children either. That's got more of a gold trim to it. Like the, like just like the hilt aspect. It's like, if, even if you can call it a hilt. There's just a, like a gold trim around it and all these like special things going on with it. It's like, this is very simple. And I, I do wonder if that's going to be an aspect of the story at all in some regard. I don't know. It may just be, well, we prefer the original style now. It may just be that. For all we know. I don't know. I don't know. But you can now enhance your weapon and spend SP skill points to unlock special skills infused in weapons. Begin tutorial. You can enhance weapons and unlock weapon skills through upgrade weapons. Press X. First, select the character whose weapon you'd like to upgrade. Press X to select Cloud. The number on the right of each weapon is the max SP value, a value which increases as the character level up those. Next, select the weapon you'd like to upgrade. Press X to select the Buster Sword. Shouldn't that be capital B? I don't know. The number next to it is the amount of SP you can spend on that weapon. And this is very much feeling like a sphere grid or like that crystal thing you had in Final Fantasy 13. Unlock weapon skills and enhance your weapons. I think it's something else that's similar to this as well, but I can't remember what it is. Hmm. Unlock weapon skills and enhance your weapons. Weapon skills can be unlocked using SP skill points. Every weapon has its own SP pool. Use the L stick uh, to select weapon skills to unlock. Okay, so we've got max HP, punishing mode, stronger attack damage. Oh, well, I do use that, so we'll get that. And we've got six SP left. Okay, so it's pretty much we pick one of them. I'm gonna go with the attack power. That's all I can do right now. You can automate SP allocation by selecting weapon and pressing triangle to change your weapon upgrade settings. Selecting these settings uh, for the best accommodates your battle strategy. It's like, I won't be doing that. It's like, I'm just thinking to myself, eh, I'm not going to be doing automatic. No, 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 no. Unlocking skills has all kinds of beneficial effects, such as boosting weapon stats and increasing material slots. When a character levels up and the max SP of their equipped weapon increases, that weapon also levels up. The higher the weapon level, the more types of weapon skills will become available. This ends the tutorial. Alright. All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Mercantown. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? We are. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. <laughs> it's just like I should, she did that and he's like, fair point, well made. I, I back down. There's nothing I can say. That's like fine. Lead me the, the to it. It's fine. Right. So let's see about equipping some stuff here. So it's sort of like Iron Bangle. Like which one? Like the Shinra one's probably a good backup for. Huh? And let's go to Seraphic Earrings and let's set our material. Let's give you a Cactua material. So what we got here? Chakra material allows you to restore your own HP and cure poison with Chakra. The amount restored is relative to the damage received, and more is restored the lower your HP. As you can see, it goes up with each level up. Oh, let's give you Ice and Lightning. I want to try and get these leveled up as well. Because how are we doing on Cloud's material? So 130. Because the one I, one I want upgraded is obviously healing, because again, I want to get to regen, so I can just negate poison if... That is accurate. Again, I'm 95% sure on that. Someone will probably confirm that for me. It's it's just the aspect of like, I'm sure that is a thing. But we haven't got any other material, so fine. I mean, we shouldn't have this many slots at this point, but we do due to the DLC. Simple as that. Alright, so... There's not, like, a secret chest in here or anything like that. It's like, sort of... There was in the original game. There's, like, a chest over here that I could loot. Barrels! But no, I guess not. Out, out the way, Tifa. This is no time to dilly dally. Cheer, oh dear. Dilly dally, shilly shally. 
Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare, just in case. Alright, what was the map again? On the map screen, you can check your current scenario objective and view the lay of the land. So I've got bed over there, shop over there, music over there. And we need to go that way. Another shop over there? Under City Station. I hear the word Under City, all I can think is World of Warcraft. Searching for candidates. How are you now? Hello? No? Okay. Still can't speak to him yet. Big, innit? It's the biggest sword, innit, mate? I can see why monsters would feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. Let's have a gander around here then. Hey! What we got? Ice. Maybe didn't need to have bought the ice, but oh well. Uh, Materia then. Let's see about giving that over to Tifa. We've got two ice now, but that's fine. That's fine. Box! I was, I was trying to get the box, but... Show me what you got ready. I see you. Now I think... Oh god, I forgot about that. Let's change over to Tifa. Oh. Tifa excels at close range combat and uses combos to deal lots of damage. Press square to execute a normal attack or hold it down to deliver a single powerful blow. And bridal strength can be used to enhance her unique ability, as well as an increase the number of attacks that can be chained together. Well, that went right. I was gonna say, I think they're vulnerable because they're monsters to ice. This was just a warm-up. I'll bet. Let's keep at it. Keeping an eye out for things. I need to get to the goal, obviously, but... Because I want to check on the ice situation, see if I'm right there. Like so... Oh, she's not built it up yet. Deal with that. Let me handle this. Bring it. Okay, so... Blizzard. Did it say weak? I wasn't paying attention. As TV, you can press triangle to execute the martial technique whirling uppercut. To access more advanced techniques, you must use unbridled strength to increase your chi level. At level 2, you will execute Omni Strike, and at level 3, Rise and Fall. Upon utilizing an advanced technique, you will expend chi and drop one level. Tifa's martial art techniques are effective against staggered enemies and will increase the damage bonus applied during this state. Okay, so that's basically just attack, attack, attack until it builds up, really. You need, I need longer enemies to play around with, as in like more health and stuff. And look, there's, there's that caution sign again, the sort of like swirly life stream thing. Right, hello, little rat things. Let's change over to Tifa. Let's actually just run around as Tifa for a while. Well, it'll switch back over to Cloud, but. Just one stuff that's got longer. Okay, I keep saying longer. Charging in like it was nothing. You too. It's a little surprising. Don't overdo it. Let me handle this. Gotta learn. You gotta stick around. Okay, let's wrap this up. Oh. All right. I think that might be the last of them. He won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. Yeah, I want the battles to be longer, not like the enemies to be longer. I mean, they can be snakes if they want, but it's, it's the length of the battle I want to be longer. Let's just check that way. Just to be sure. We don't want to miss any loot or anything like that. That's fine. Could have easily missed the ice and I do not want that. Just like, yeah, this way would have been that. That's fine. 
Ta -ta. Screw you, mate. You don't look like a merc. What does that mean? That, thank you. Yeah, I bet you are. All right, Katie, calm down. Back already? Got every last one too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines. Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you got to do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. Oh. You okay? I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village... It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Uh, Sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Huh? No fair! Uh. Think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh. <sighs> hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. Indeed. Oh, that's, it is one thing I just realized I forgot to mention, like, something I was thinking about. Like, very much like the room next door to Cloud, the guy in the robe. It's like, it makes sense that he sort of seemed like Sephiroth to Cloud, like, for a moment. Like, there's that aspect. Because, again, if, like, if we...
The more jobs you take on, the more your fame and repute grow among the local residents. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. Sizable weapon. Excellent cardiovascular health and impressive lung capacity. Perfectly balanced muscle and bone structure. An optimal candidate. My name is Chadley. I'm an intern for Shinra's Research and Development Division. I hope you'll be interested in helping me with my research. Please accept this as a down payment. I would like you to set that assessed materia in your equipment and use it to gather intelligence in battle. This data will help me to develop new types of materia. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine Shinra's efforts. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous power of materia, as well as how it might be wielded against your corporate enemies. And if you later decide that I am not worthy of your trust, you can do what you do best. I will hold you to that. Excellent! Then we shall work together so long as you deem fit. Once you've completed your task, please return and report to me. Alright, so now I've got a set, so that's what I want, really. When you complete battle intel missions for Chadley, he will develop new kinds of materia. You can view battle intel missions from battle intel in the main menu. Completing missions while respective quests are active will grant additional rewards. Okay, so it's very much like I want to see about equipping that somewhere. Question is, do I just put it on Tifa? I'm thinking yes. Let's put you over there. That's good for us. That's good. Right, so what I'm going to do now is actually explain what I'm going to do with the parts here. I'm basically going to have this part just be chapter 3, like story-wise, any story scenes. And part 4 will be the side quests I did, like, now and in between other scenes. So, let's jump to the next scene, and the quest that I did will be in part four, like I said. Stay away from me! Hold it! Settle down now. Get off me, assholes! I didn't do shit! Shut up, punk! Or what, huh? Screw you! Oh, What's going on? on? Why you Somebody do me like went that? and stole some blasting data from a Shinra warehouse. So public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. It's because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me they're not going to settle for just roughing him up this time. We've got to save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do. But he has his suspicions. And... He's a talker. Ah. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should go alone. I'm coming. Uh, are you sure? It's the least I can do. Lead on. <sighs> Thanks. Come on. Go to jail. Hello there. Gotta follow Tifa. Ah, I want to see if I could go off and carry on doing the side quest. Oh, such strange music. It's something. It's something. Come on, Cloud, you can run. Citizens don't steal blasting agent. So why don't you tell me why your ID popped when we were going over the warehouse logs? Huh? You got it all wrong. I never thought anywhere near a Shinra warehouse. Huh. My ID. <laughs> your ID was never lost, dumbass. Never got you inside a Shinra installation in the first place. But don't you worry. We'll take all the time we need to get up to I swear. All he had to do was keep his mouth shut. Yep. Anyway, you distract the officers and I'll figure something out. Oh dear, oh dear. Let him go. Hmm? Who are you? The cavalry? Huh? Is that, is that who I think it is? Oh, hell yeah! You guys really came to save me! Out on the hook! Hey! What do you think you're doing? Here we go. 
Just gotta have to punish him more because there's a doggy around. Thank you! Come on, doggy. Come on. That doggy, me, doggy! Get you staggered before that happens. That's that. Right, fine. He's in the way. Ow. Anytime now. Yep, what's this? I see a big dragon. Look up. What's this? I see a big dragon. Look up. What's this? I see. Well, what now? He's a talker. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! No! Huh? You're not gonna hold up! Wait! Don't! Don't do it, man! You wanna live? Then get the hell out of town. <laughs> you, you got it, boss. You ain't never gonna see my face again! I swear! <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's a big risk. I know, but... It's fine. And them? No more. Cloud... You're scaring me. We need to go before they wake up. That was just gonna straight up kill the man. Hey, jeez, Cloud. Jeez. Not on me. I... I'm worried about Johnny. I'm more worried about us. We gotta go, right? Right. What? It's just... You've really changed. How? I suppose it's... Yeah. Your eyes. They used to be less... It's the Mako. Soldier, remember? I remember. So, what do you want to do now? Head back to the bar, or do you want to tackle another job or two? Dude, Cloud, there's other ways of going about it. I mean, he, he did go about the other way, which is like, get out of town, but... You know. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on with some quests right now, and we'll jump to when I finish the quests. Okay, then. That's another solid game.
You changed the filter. Hmm. Little, hmm. Self-satisfied. Hmm. I, I did it. Hmm. Give me one sec. I'll be done in a bit. What does that say? Maybe like documentary or something, the top one? Air yeah, music gallery. Oh my. It's a lovely bag there. Finally. <sighs> so, after you left the village, hmm? I let you off the hook before, back at the hall, but not this time. Uh. Uh. Hmm? Well, when we were kids, everybody wanted to be a soldier, right? Yeah, I remember they were on the news every day during the war. Thing is, by the time I finally made it in, they didn't need heroes anymore. It was nothing like what we dreamt of. It was just working for Shinra. Just... I'm sorry. I know it's a touchy subject. Oh. Not exactly small talk. Especially with someone you haven't seen in a while. I get it. Still, it's kind of funny. Us going our separate ways, thinking that must be it. That we'd never meet again. And then here of all places we do. You know what? We should totally celebrate. Let's dress up and hit the town. Really? I mean, why not? It'll be fun. Do you even have fancy clothes? Not like fancy fancy, but I'll figure something out. What do you think would suit me, huh? Let's go with something exotic. Something exotic? Uh, really? Then again, if we're making an effort... Be sure to pick an outfit that goes with mine, okay? Will do. Maybe something silky. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. You'll see. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and on that happy note, I think it's time we head back to the bar. Come on. Uh, you don't need a break? Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. Marl isn't always right, you know. Mm hmm oh, I thought that dot was in here. So that dot is her downstairs then. Isn't there like a chest underneath here as well? We took care of the filters, so we're gonna head back to the bar now. Take care, you two. Oh, you're looking pretty chipper. Uh, I don't feel that different. Must be my imagination, then. <laughs> anyway, keep your wits about you, Merc. A token of my appreciation. Be good to her. Oh, I will. Right, now let's finally go to the bar. And here we are. You must be tired. Same as you, I guess. Could use a little something to take the edge off, right? How about a refreshing cocktail made by yours truly that you can sit back and savor? Tifa. Yeah, I'm feeling it a bit too. Hey, do you think you'll stick around a little longer? <sighs> Maybe. Work for a minute, build up some savings. I see. So, what'll it be? Want to head back out for a little while? Uh, no. I think we've done enough there. We're back. Did you have fun? <laughs> Lots of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? 
Then the plan is... Marlene, wanna go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. <sighs> Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay... You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. Her heart's not in it. She was never on board with the bombings. So if it comes down to do or die, if I've got to put my life in someone else's hands, then I'd rather that someone was a professional. Like you. We could still kill some time. Doing what the? I mean, if this was, like, Persona 5 or something, I'd be going off and playing darts or something like that. Oh, it's a dartboard! Here we go. The basic rules. Use X to throw darts. The point value of the area you hit is deducted from your point total. Oh, no. You throw three darts per round, and the goal is to reduce your points to exactly zero in as few rounds as possible. The smaller the target reticule, the more accurate your throw will be. Make sure to throw the dart before the timer runs out. Oh no. How to score big. For the most points, aim for the bullseye in the center of the... No. Of the dartboard on the narrow double and triple rings. However, if you score too many points and reduce the running total to below zero, you will lose the round and none of the points were scored will count. One last throw. When you can win the game with the next dart, the area of the dartboard you should aim for will light up. Oh. Just need it on that nice and simply. Ooh. Could still do it, could still do it. Okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm. What's best to go for for this? 
Up to, up to. All right, I'm gonna go with that. I was too busy deciding. I forgot about the timer. All right, okay. And it flies. Oh. Yes. Seven darts thrown. And hundred point three three. With the top. So where's my luck material? Where, where do I get my luck material? I don't want to play again. I thought I got some luck material from doing this. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's later. But still, we're top. It's fine. It's fine. It's done, regardless. Let's wait at the count of a Tiva. You all right? <sighs> I heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. If it feels wrong, don't do it. <sighs> Guess that's that then. What, they kick you out? We agreed to disagree. So, you want another drink? Tifa! Time to celebrate. Break out all the good stuff. Oh, sure. <clears throat> we won't be needing you for this next job. Feel free to look for work elsewhere. Fine by me. That's how I like it. No contract, no obligation. Figured you'd say that. Here, the rest of your payment, along with a little extra for your exemplary service. And thus concludes our business. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This is a private affair. <sighs> Sorry, I tried. We talked it over, but... in the end... We didn't want to put so much on you. This is our fight. Jesse, what's the holdup? Uh, be right there. No hard feelings, huh? It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse, I'm dying here. Uh, I'll catch you later. <sighs> Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. Yay! Why have you got a welcome sign above the door that you'll only see when you exit? That hit the spot. Damn, Biggs, slow down. <laughs> Can't expect anyone but a true believer to stand tall if everything goes sideways. Oh, my bad. Continue. Keep it tight. Hey. We'll talk. So, where'd we leave off? More reason to live it up now. Yep. Best way to clear your head so you can focus when it counts. It's been too long since we... What's up with them? Word is he lives in this town. Just shut up and... <sighs> hey, brother. You from around the way? I guess. No big man with a big gun strapped to his right arm? Heard he set up shop somewhere in the neighborhood. That depends. Ah. <laughs> Clever. Smell an opportunity to make some scratch to you. Five hundred. Two hundred. Mm, three. Whatever, man. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Walk with me. 
You're gonna be upset, mate. Ominous shadows. Got something to say? You looking at me? Their animations are so perfectly timed, it looks weird. Move it! I said move! Doom! Doom! Look at all these assholes staring at us. This shithole's got nothing on Wall Market. Am I right? Wall Market, you say? Word of advice, Blondie. Don't piss off my friend here. You'll be real sorry. Unless you got some kind of death wish, that'd be my guest. <laughs> After you, brother. And don't worry. I ain't the backstabbing type. Most days. Most days? You say that now? Spill it. You know where the bastard's hiding, don't you? I told you before. That depends. Oh yeah? You wasted my time! Shinra's time, you mean? Shinra knows better than to stick its nose in my boss's business. Like I give a shit. Let's do this. Come on. Sloppy. Try me. You some kind of coward? This is gonna work, mate. I see you. Let's write some fire now. I built some stuff. Need a light. Um, yeah, we'll go for Hoodlum C. Burn! Try it! Not built up enough yet. Ugh. What are you doing? Call you the big man with a big gun for an arm, right? Hey! Why do you want it? Whoa! I still not that enough. Look up, what's this? I see a big umbrella. Look up, what's this? I see a big umbrella. Look up, what's this? I see a big umbrella. Ow, ow. Try me. Um, let's go with fire. By fire be purge, mate. I see you. See ya. Goodland B was the trouble for me. Really was. So if they weren't Shinra, then not my problem. Lesson one for life on the ground floor. Get some rest. He's learning. He just he just killed four people. Not bad, Mark. We owe you. Like uh, it's just everyone's gonna just cover for him. Like all right then. I mean we have built up a reputation around here, so they will look out for us. But it still seems kind of strange. It's like just just killed four people. We can talk in private. Guess I'll get right to the point then. Huh. What have you got there? An apology for not getting you on the mission. Pretty. Uh. Or not. What do you think it is? A proposition. Nailed it in one. Gonna have to ask you to keep all this a secret from the others, though. It's a personal matter. Something I need to sort out tonight. Tonight? Tonight. You and me, together. I want you to come with me to the Sector 7 plate. I'll give you the details on the way. That's fine by me, but don't you have a pretty big day ahead of you? I do, but... If I don't deal with this now, it's only going to get harder. Anyway, I can count on you, can't I? Hmm. Oh. A down payment. Doubt we'll be back before morning, in case you were planning on traveling light. Make sure you've got everything you need before we leave. I'll wait here. 
You all set? I'm ready to go. Awesome. Meet me at the station after dark. Don't be late. <sighs> it's just another job. <laughs> 